Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more of the Dynasty Duels. Today we have Tyranno Hasselberry, played by Dynamosaur, the perfect fit for Tyranno, going up against the White Knight, playing as Franz. Franz is going to be the German guy that has raw. Di Tyranno Hasselberry needs no introduction, he has freaking Tyranno, ultimate Tyranno. So, it should be a good duel. Let's go ahead and see what happens. These two duelists are going to go at it. They think they got to look at their cards, especially Franz. Franz's deck is a little more complicated. Tyranno Hasselberry, you just go big bam, big bam. You want those damages. You got to do damage. So we're going to see which of these characters can make it to the semifinals of the Dynasty Series tournament. I've been pretty excited to see how this tournament would go. A little too busy to record with subscribers, sadly. I've been freaking doing a bunch of Let's Plays that you guys don't even know about yet. It's going to come out. But I've been working on them for literal months. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, but this Let's Play has been something I've been wanting to get back to. So the true name is here. And the true name is going to get a guess or give them a divine monster. I don't remember. Uh, but we'll see what happens. I, I actually don't remember its effect at all. I should probably take a peek. Declare one card name and yeah, yeah. Just, just guess Raw's Disciple or something. I don't remember. Go ahead, White Knight. Oh yeah, you have to type it in. It's pretty annoying actually. Uh, give them an extra second since they do have to type it. But, uh, yeah, Raw's Disciple's the only one I could think of to choose in that deck. Maybe Grave Protector. We'll see. Raw's Disciple, I was right. <laughs> Damn, and they were too. Holy shit. And, yo, oh, there we go. That's as good as things get. Franz is going ham. All right, so Wing Dragon of Raw and Raw's Disciple in hand. That is a horrifying start if your name is Tyranno Hasselberry, but maybe Tyranno has a way back in. Maybe there is a card in Tyranno's deck that could take down the legendary Wing Dragon of Raw. It's called the Hyper Hammerhead, and I'm not joking, it could beat it. You think an Egyptian god could take down Hyper Hammerhead? You're a fool. All right, so Giant Rex, one of the better dino cards. It was a Rex Raptor card, funnily enough. Um... From back in the day, but uh, all the card games I play with Rex Raptor, Giant Rex doesn't exist, so I can't give it to him. But either way, let's see what happens. Except when we did the Dynasty series for Battle City, he had it there. Uh, we got the Nubian Guard, which is fine, but Tyranno Hasper, you're definitely going to need some back row. Something that could help you survive Raw's Blast, because it's coming. Do not get that wrong, it is coming. Once Raw's Disciple is summoned, it's going to summon two more monsters, and then you're going to be uh, met with a god, an Egyptian god, and Raw has no mer has no mercy for you guys. No mortal will survive the power of Raw. But either way, we'll see what they end up going with. They're going to end their turn just after Giant Rex. Ultimate Offering is here to horrify me. <laughs> I'm not joking. This is going to be terrifying. Holy crap, we might actually get to see an Egyptian god. Raw's Disciple will summon itself, which will summon two more Disciples. That's all they do is that they create Disciples. But they can only be tributed for Egyptian god cards. Not just Raw, any Egyptian god. And guess what? Now we're going to use Ultimate Offering, pay 500 life points, the perfect start for Franz, and summon the ultimate card, the number one monster, the Egyptian god, the Winged Dragon of Raw. With 7,400 life points gone, six, oh my god, that's 5,400 damage. Yes, they only have 100 life points left, but when you play as Merrick Ishtar, you got to get used, well, it's actually Franz, but whatever. You got to get used to only having one or 100 life points left. So, Dynamosaur is almost out of life points, and I will stand by what I said. The only card that could stop a god is Raw. Uh, not Raw, sorry. It is Hyper Hammerhead. So, you gotta set Hyper Hammerhead. It's your only hope. I know it's scary, Dynamosaur, but don't give up. You got a lot of cards in hand. There's, yep, there it is. Let's take a peek. I can't take a peek. Damn it. We'll find out in a second, but that has to be Hyper Hammerhead. If it's not that card, then maybe they could just stall. I don't know. Because White Knight has to be super careful. They can't just attack with a regular monster. They can't even leave a monster in attack mode. They will simply lose the duel if they do that. So we'll see what happens. The trap card does not scare Raw at all, I bet. There's nothing in Tyranna's deck that could take down Raw. Other than Hyper Hammerhead, I think. I don't know Tyranna's deck that well now that I'm starting to think about it. But either way, a 7400 attack point monster is horrifying. That card could chain if it wants. It's going to be Survival Instinct, which is smart because bro, moving from play Giant Rex is an intelligent play because then you get to special summon the Giant Rex, hopefully in defense mode. Yep. And there you go. You have two monsters now. You're earning your way up the ladder. 
Raw can't deal with all these monster cards. And that means they need more monsters on the field, but those monsters could risk the duel. So, as long as you're able to... Yep, okay. Setting a card is probably not a good idea either. I think, uh... I think Tyranno Hotsberry does have piercing damage, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure... I've seen in tournaments he's had piercing damage, so... I don't think setting a card is any better than putting one in attack mode. But, in this case, it's fine. You just need to find a situation where you could actually defeat your opponent. You also need to get your field spell. The whole th reason Franz has this deck is because he created a field spell to control the gods. Mound of the Bound Creator. And hopefully they're able... Oh, there we go. Pot of Greed can help out. Hopefully they're able to drop... There it is. Wow. Holy crap. They actually got it. And with that card, they could totally win the duel. Yeah, no. Literally, this is how Raw wins. In three, in three attacks, Raw wins the duel. So go ahead, Raw. Destroy a monster and pray to God it's not Hyper Hammerhead. All right. Oh, Black Stego, and it's gone, and Mount of the Band Creator does a 1,000, which means Dynamosaur has two turns left to get either a Piercing Damage Dino or um, Hyper Hammerhead. So we'll see if that happens, but honestly, the odds are better for Raw here. But there are two Piercing Damage Dinos I know of, Mad Sword Beast and Dark Dry Ceratops. Um, I know he's used them, um, and so has uh, a couple characters in this uh, series. And, you know, Rex Raptor, but we'll see what happens. Ugh. Setting more cards as if you're going to summon another Raw. Raw with the two Raws don't make sense. Ooh, Elementsaurus. A cool card, but the field spell puts them down. One more attack will end this duel. This is Tyranno Hasselberry's last chance to find a comeback. This was literally the perfect start for Franz. It could not have been better. I don't think it could have been better. Yes, get rid of that field spell, and you bought yourself even more turns, which means, yes, you could win the duel still. And wait, Mount of the Bound Creator does give you a raw, but what does that even do for him? He does not want to summon another raw, I'll tell you that for free. When you don't have any life points, it ain't worth. And as long as you keep setting monsters, raw can't beat you unless they drew another Mount of the Bound Creator, which they do have three. But I don't think it will make a difference as long as, uh, you know. Yeah, the oh, are you going to guess Mount of the Bound Creator? That would be a good play. That would be a really good play to guess that card. Just to try and guarantee it. Because at worst you throw away a card and no one cares. It still thins out your deck for you. It's a win-win situation. And yep, you chose it and you threw away a card. Easy! Look at that! That's a really great play from White Knight. Sadly, White Knight was about to win the duel, but an MST stopped them. And Tyranno Infinity is one of the only dinosaurs that could stop Raw as well in battle. But Tyranno Infinity won't work because they already use Survival Instinct and don't have enough dinos in the grave. Unless that trap card happens to be another Survival Instinct. But I don't think there's enough dinos in the grave anyway. That would only give them 4,000 attack if they got another one out. What they really need to do is find even more. They need more power. Oh, there it is. Mound of the Bound Creator. This duel's over. <laughs> the duel is over, folks. Mound of the Bound Creator will win... Uh, uh, Franz the first duel 100 life points but that should be why whenever you see 100 life points that means Franz is winning not losing and here comes the final attack going after the defense mode survival instinct it was another one throw away everything it's your only hope yeah all right 1600 life points and giant rex gets to come back for free so in attack mode that was a huge misclick that was legitimately the biggest misclick ever yeah, okay, no way in hell that wasn't a big misclick. Um, we're going to go ahead and get into fight number two. Sucks to be you, but honestly, you were probably going to lose slowly. Um, still, sucks to be you, 100%. You got to be a little bit more careful. You got to be a little bit slower. Uh, we'll see what happened. All right, so let's go ahead. Oh, no, they actually did that because they did not understand the ruling that when a new monster is summoned during battle, they could simply redirect target. So that's uh, something you, uh, older Yu-Gi-Oh players probably would know. Newer Yu-Gi-Oh players probably don't even have to worry about that, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and see what happens. The next fight is Dynamosaur versus White Knights. We're going to see which one is stronger. Will we see another Franz Egyptian God card, or will we see... Um, or will we see Ultimate Tyranno or the Fusion Monster? Either one. I think they're both great. 
All right, true name. What are the odds you actually get another Raw's Disciple? I would always choose Raw's Disciple um, if it were me. Unless you're just, you know, you want the field spell. I could choose. Hey, you could choose that one, too. Nope, it was the Creator Incarnate, which is fine. Sucks to lose that card, though. It's actually a really nice card to have. Um, having a set card at least means you're not in the worst situation. But, Tyranno Hasberry, you know you're on a time limit when you're fighting Franz. And it's better to just go ham so that Raw's attack points aren't nearly as bad. Um, you know. So, just go ham. Never play passively against this opponent. Get uh, your other monster flipped, even if it's Black Stego. Flip it forward. There we go. <laughs> I'm very good at this. I swear I'm psychic, but no one believes me. Alright, go ahead, Giant Rex. You need to attack first. Which any player would attack with Giant Rex first. I love that their attack points are flipped. That's uh, Giant Rex and Black Stego are like the two opposites. That's kind of funny. Um, ooh, Grave Protector! Two more of those and you'll get yourself a raw. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and set another card. Now let's see what happens here. We're going into draw phase. Dinosaur's got a bunch of cards to work with here. We'll see what happens. Lots of cards in hand. Your opponent does have an annoying defense mode monster, but maybe, just maybe, you'll be able to buff yourself up a little bit with the Jurassic World. Or, yeah! The ultimate Tyranno! The strongest card! And literally Tyranno Hassleberry's signature monster. Just like that, it's going to destroy every monster on the field. That's where I would have attacked the other one first. I guess, no, wait, you're using Great Protector against him, aren't you? Oh, it doesn't matter. Yep, because Great Protector puts it back in the deck. But it could have been... It probably wasn't. Probably Franz doesn't have any flip effects. But either way, let's just go in there and look at that. Ultimate Tyranno turning duel number two all the way around. Making Tyranno Hasberry look like a goddamn beast. Or a dino, but whatever. All right. Franz, you're in a little bit of trouble. But obviously, if you draw Raw's Disciple, you have Raw in hand. Oh my god, Pot of Greed. What great timing. Um, if that's ultimate offering on the field or something like that, you can make things happen. The creator incarnate. No way you have the creator in your hand. No freaking way. Special summons the creator in defense mode. A monster that can hold back the ultimate Tyranno with its 3k defense. That is pretty impressive. I'm not even upset. That's an impressive play. The creator is standing tall. Ultimate Tyranno is standing tall. Both of these cards are going to hold off each other until Jurassic World, Mound of the Bad Creator, something like that is drawn. A line must be drawn, everybody. So, Ultimate Tyranno, what are you going to do? You're going to play a fusion card. Interesting. Dynabase will fuse, but I don't think fusing with uh, Ultimate Tyranno will make you strong enough. Sadly. I think you just keep 3,000 attack, but you gain the ability to do period. <gasps> Superconductor Tyranno! No way! The monster that can overpower it! Superconductor Tyranno gives him 3,300 attack. It does piercing. It's going to end this thing. Oh my god. Ultimate Tyranno sadly does have to attack first, though, so attack with Ultimate Tyranno. It is his effect that he must attack first. You're not going to be able to do 3k damage. They have not figured it out yet. Okay, they figured it out. Good. Yes, Ultimate Tyranno has a great effect and a negative effect at the same time. So yes, this is just going to be a little crash here, but that doesn't matter. Because your other monster, the Dyna Tank, is going to do the damage. It's going to get rid of the monster. And it's at 3,300. That is the maximum level of attack points it could possibly have. Because Superconductor... Oh, it doesn't do piercing. Whatever. Superconductor is the best card in that goddamn freaking deck. When it comes to pure attack points. Its effect is alright too if you need to burn damage kind of thing. Which last duel they did. Alright, so we got two set cards. That's kind of scary. But uh, honestly, I don't think Tyranno Hasselberry is scared of traps. I think Tyranno Hasselberry simply needs to get out uh, more monster cards. And honestly, Tyranno's deck is a bunch of dinos. I don't think they run that many spells or traps. So let's see what they end up doing. Ultimate time round, no matter what, we'll have to attack first. But if you get a card like, I don't know. Oh, you didn't get a monster. Okay, that's really rare. 
Really rare not to see a monster card, and the card dying will be the third Grave Protector. Why not? We You drew all three. It's going back in the deck. The Dyna... Oh, I forgot that you still have more in your deck. Never mind. And there goes the Dyna Tank for 3,300 damage. That is absolutely brutal. But still, no extra monster is pretty pitiful. You could have won next turn if you had an extra monster. You might still win next turn. And when it comes to Tyranno Hasselberry, I expect to see a lot of monsters. Call of the Haunted can bring back, uh, not the creator, I don't think. I could be wrong about that. Maybe it can be special summon from the grave? No. Creator Incarnate, and the cops are here, but don't worry about them. They're not part of this. Creator Incarnate is stuck in attack mode, unless you did that during the end phase. The true name could try to save you, but what car unless you have Raw in your hand already. No, you just need to get Raw's Disciple. It's the only way. It's the only way. You would still have enough attack. Oh, no, you're going for creator. I actually could appreciate that play. I could appreciate it. Uh, Mound of the Bound Creator showing that you're running out of cards and don't really have many options. Uh, that's an understandable play as well. Um, I'm guessing Ultimate Offering might as well. You haven't even normal summoned yet, so I guess you're just showing everything you have. Yeah, the timing on that... Oh, and you're giving up. <laughs> I can understand. When you're staring down a freaking 3300 Dynatank and a 3000 Ultimate Tyranno, I 100% understand giving up. <laughs> it's a horrifying sight. But they had to look at a 7400 attack point raw, so it's not like they didn't see their share of horror. And there we go, everybody. Tyranno Hasselberry Taste Game number two. These top eight duels have been pretty insane. And honestly, I can't wait to see either of these characters make it to semifinals. They think they're both ready for it. I think they both have earned it. But only one will truly earn that spot. Only one will truly move on. And personally, out of these two, I prefer Tyranno Hasselberry. But I like Raws. I like Raw. It's a really cool card. So, and anyone that uses Egyptian Gods gets a pass from me. But we'll see. We'll see if they can actually win it. It's looking like a pretty good duel so far. Pretty, pretty good. Alright, Gilosaurus is the perfect first turn monster to have. Especially if you're running a tribute. Big Evolution Pill is even better. You haven't even normal summoned yet. So now, using the Big Evolution Pill, Ultimate Tyranno in one turn. That was the perfect start. Ultimate Tyranno on turn one, making it so... Oh, and Jurassic World to stop Creator from being able to defend it. Literally, the only card that's going to stop Ty the, uh, Ultimate Tyranno is the Ultimate Monster Raw. If they can't get Raw, they can't win this duel. That is the only hope. So, we'll see. Franz may have had the perfect first duel, but can they have the perfect third duel, even though it looks like Tyranno already did? Graceful Charity could help out a lot, especially in this stressful situation. In this stressful situation, Graceful Charity is here to help. MST, yeah, you can at least stop that, but if they have another tribute monster, you're going to wish you hit Big Evolution Pill. But I guess that means you can go for Creator Defense now. But we'll see if they have another tribute monster, which would be horrifying, by the way. That would just... That would just blow. If they had two tribute monsters. Like, what are the odds? Do they even have another monster? Now that I'm thinking about it. They have another- It's the piercing damage one! I was talking about that in game number one. There's Dark Dry Ceratops. Dark Dry Ceratops can't go in, sadly. And now it does not matter. Oh my god! Shining Angel's about to backfire super hard. Because Ultimate Tyranno can blow through all of them. You actually do not want to activate Shining Angel's effect. I, unless you're thinning out your deck, it's not worth the life points. 1600 per monster, it's better not to activate the effect. You're not understand. You're not hearing me. You really want to thin out your deck. Okay. I'm going with the theory that they really want to thin out their deck because this is not helping. This is 100% not helping. They're not going to have a lot enough attack points left. Oh, you do not want to summon two more disciples. I'm telling you. I am telling you. You do not want to summon two more. Holy shit. Well, at least they're in defense mode. All right. Well, there's that. That's the silver line, but they're all dead. All your monsters are dead. Ultimate Tyranno is ripping through your entire deck. As if it's nothing. And then 2400 damage will almost end this duel. There hasn't even been... There's only been like four turns. And this duels are... Yeah, yeah, it's turn four. And the duel's almost over. 500 life point burn would be the only thing they need. If they could do 500 burn, the duel would have ended. Jesus Christ. <laughs> don't use Shining Angel, kids. You could literally say no to the effect. You don't have to use it. Either way, it's not it's not a good day to be a Franz uh, fan. Oh, it's over. 
It's over. Oh, it's over. Yeah, they knew it was over. They knew it was over. That's going to be the end of the duel. Turn five victory. Tyrano Hasselberry is going to the semifinals. Thank you all for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next battle. Bye-bye.